Adding Bluetooth to the Kenwood UD500 Mini Component System, Part 1. Ah, oh, good afternoon, YouTube. Back out here in the garage. This time, not for the Buick, though. We're going to travel around the end of the Buick over to the uh, shelf over there and see what we can see. Still need to get back out on. I've got the uh, one tube of uh, the uh, adhesive came in, the black tube. I don't know how much I can see over here with a crappy light. So I brought the camera. Let's see if I can see any numbers. Very difficult to see. Let me get the uh, light over here. I'm going to stick you right there. Just stay there and don't, don't bother with anything. See how well that uh, mount lets you sit. See you stayed put. That's good. All right. Looks like it says FM AM stereo receiver A A5. I'm assuming that's what it is. And we'll look at the components. See if there's some numbers here. Kenwood multiple compact disc player DP MA5. Stereo Graphic Equalizer GE A5, and that seems to be all of those. I am missing one. I don't know which one it is, though. Uh, I thought there was four of them. I know there was. Huh. Well, that's weird. I wonder where it went. Well, anyway, the uh, reason I did this, I want to I wanna get the, uh, see if I can find the uh, schematics or service manual, whatever it is, on this. And so so we can see what kind of connections we have on the back. I know I have a line out. I remembered it from uh, messing. Oh, I see which one's missing. The tape deck. There's the, uh, yeah, the tape deck is what's missing. I don't know where it went. Probably around here somewhere. Anyway. Uh, all right, we're going to go back in the house. That's basically all I wanted to know. And there's our speakers. I don't think there's any numbers of anything worthy on that. We won't even bother with those. But uh, anyway, like I said, maybe I can find now some surface information and get some better information on what I'm doing. All right? All right. All right, back with you once again, uh, YouTube. Here is the, um, I was able to find the uh, numbers that I needed. This is a component system. It's called the UD500. Um, like I said, this is the uh, basically the instruction manual for this. Uh, first pages are just uh, warnings about this and that and everything else. Uh, then it goes into system setup. You can see this guide here it gives you the uh, layout for. Let's get this a little bit bigger. And come up here. Now, this gives you the layout for how the uh, unit is connected. Um, this white cable goes from the uh, graphic equalizer, which is this unit here. Uh, here. The uh, other end of this plugs, plugs into the uh, CD player down here. Uh, the other, the rest of the cassette deck, and you have the uh, the main unit here, the uh, uh, receiver. Uh, and here is your. Uh, let me show you this. This is your uh, auxiliary input. Uh, so you, it's on the back of the graphic equalizer. 
and this is where you would actually plug in your uh, cord to your Bluetooth dongle and uh, that's the right and left there so I uh, just kind of wanted to point that out that's all there is to that really uh, I thought maybe there was uh, on this receiver here I thought maybe that this would have some um, auxiliary type uh, power connections most uh, stereo receivers do have them they usually have two one was switched and one is unswitched uh, so you're gonna see later on what I'm talking about as far as uh, how you use that but uh, the uh, it's not necessary that you have a, a switched output to plug in your uh, USB uh, power jack and uh, as we'll see it just the only thing it does is keeps the uh, USB uh, not the USB but the Bluetooth uh, on all the time which you know it's good or bad whatever you want to say uh, here's some look, looks at the uh, how they laid it out it can be laid out either way I've had mine set up both ways. It really doesn't much matter. Uh, this is a nice sounding unit. Uh, I've always been uh, in awe of how, th how well this thing sounds. So, anyway, that's that. Um, now, let's get into the uh, next part of this. Okay, first and foremost, you're going to need a Bluetooth dongle. I call them dongles. You can call them anything you want. Uh, they call them an audio receiver adapter. Uh, whatever you want to call them, that's fine. Basically, these have a um, USB connection on one end for the power. And if you look at the... Uh, let's see, where is it at? Now it's hard to see there. Let's see if we can find one with the... shows the back of it. Well, it's difficult to see there, but we'll, we'll take a look at that. Uh, right up in here, in this area here, uh, you can see a, a little uh, hole there where the eighth inch cable, now we're not going to use the cable that comes with it, we're going to have a different cable. But that's where it plugs into, right there. Uh, or, yeah, I can't get over there to look at because every time I get off that, let's see if I can, yeah, there we go. Here's what I'm talking about, right here. This There's a hole right there that the eighth inch uh, plug fits into and again this is not the cable we will be using but that just shows you where it plugs into and the cable that we will be using and like I said this uh, I will have a link to this particular uh, item now this is the item I bought uh, it's four dollars thirty nine cents uh, if you just buy one which you know you only need one for this but uh, it's a good seller 100 percent feedback uh, you can choose this one or choose another. It doesn't matter. Um, like I said, it's just, just giving you an idea of what you need to do this. Like I said, there will be a link to this in the description below when I, get, I put this video up. Uh, the other one that uh, we're looking at is this cable here. Now this is a... Uh, basically, with this end here will plug into... Let me do that. This in here will plug into the back of the dongle where I showed you just previously and then these two ends will plug into the back of the uh, receiver where I showed you the auxiliary input is. Your red is always right and white is left so uh, that will plug into that and the other end like I say will plug into the, do the dongle. From there uh, again there is a link to this cable uh, it was $3.99. It's a um, three-foot cable. You really don't need a very long one. You can buy a long one if you want, uh, but you really don't need it unless you're planning on putting your dongle uh, far away from where it plugs in. You know, just stick with the shorter one is best. Again, there will be a, a link in the description for this item. Let's look at the other last item on the uh, list that we need. Now, this item is kind of uh, optional. Um, I buy them because they're cheap, number one. They're easy to plug in power for dongles like this. I Again, I generally buy these because they will plug into the uh, back of the receiver and to the switched output. And if you have a stereo like that, now this will work with any stereo that has, you know, the auxiliary input. 
you can use this type of setup. But anyway, this will plug into the output or the uh, receptacle on the back of the receiver that's marked switch. And that way, every time you turn on the stereo, it turns on the Bluetooth. Uh, that makes it a little bit more convenient. Like I say, if you're in the, in the area with your phone or whatever you're using for your music, uh, and you pick up this and you think, oh, there's a, there's a source for my music. Well, it's not going to be a source if uh, the stereo is not on. So, uh, again, like I said, it's just uh, one more little thing. But uh, anyway, these are, uh, these are not that expensive. I, I, I've got a bunch of them around here somewhere, and I never, I never ever can find them when I need them. So I just order one or two. In fact, I ordered two of this one. Uh, it was 99 cents when I ordered it. Now, I, so I got these actually two of them for less money than what you see there. So that was a good deal. Also, there's a, a link in there. Again, a uh, link below in the description. Again, don't you don't have to have this particular one. Just a uh, any kind of cell phone charger that has a USB uh, power port. Uh, will work. Uh, this one's uh, for Apple or Android. But like I said, I think this one's only one amp. It, you know, you want to get one that's at least one amp. Most of them are. Most of them are two amp, really. But uh, if you look down there, there's always more of them available if you want to look around. But like I said, that's the three things that you really kind of need. Uh, and if you don't use this particular um, device that uh, plugs into the wall, uh, you can use a uh, anything that has power to power your USB dongle, and that's basically all you're doing is powering that dongle so that the uh, wire or the uh, Bluetooth works. And uh, they do make uh, another thing. They do make Bluetooth uh, battery uh, type uh, adapters that does do not need to be plugged in all the time. Uh, you might want to go that route. Uh, that's a possibility. The, I've had both kind. I prefer these because you never have to worry about the battery. Uh, the, the battery type has to be plugged into USB every once in a while to charge the battery up. Uh, so that's up to you, you know, but I'm just trying to show you the, the correct way of doing this. And I will, I will, once I get these items in, we will go over it on the test bench and show you how to hook it all up and we'll go from there. So hope this is a, a good, uh, start to our little adventure here and uh, we will we'll bring you back when we have more so have a good day